Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to check the ECP address and the RIS address for a Honeywell Home Tuxedo keypad. Uh, the ECP address and the RIS address, um, you both want to configure both of those correctly. They're very important when setting up your Tuxedo keypad. Um, so I'm, I'll explain um, about what these are, but first I'm just going to quickly show you how to get into the menu where you can access them because that's why we're all here today. So uh, we're at the main screen of the tuxedo and we're going to press the settings icon and then we're going to choose system setup and then we're going to choose CS setup and then we're going to enter in our installer code. Now assuming you have your tuxedo connected with a, a Vista system, then it's going to be 4112 as the default. If you don't have your tuxedo paired with anything yet, uh, it's just a standalone keypad, just you're powering it, it's not connected, then it will be 4140 as the default installer code. But we have ours connected with a Vista system, so we'll do 4112. And then we're going to choose ECP address. And that's the menu right there. You see we can access the ECP address and the RIS automation ECP address, or just called the RIS address um, for short. Um, so what these are, and this basically tells the Vista system where to find the tuxedo as a keypad, as a touchscreen keypad for controlling the system. Now uh, the tuxedo is considered an AUI device, uh, that's advanced user interface. So it has to have, uh, it has to be assigned one of the AUI device slots. Uh, for a 20P and a 21IP, as well as a 21IP LTE system, uh, there are four slots available. Uh, these are one, two, five, and six. So uh, you'll want to have yours in the appropriate slot. And you see I, I didn't do anything on the tuxedo and it kicked us out here. So we'll just go back into the menu. Uh, CS setup 4112 as our default installer code. And I'll try to do something on the, the screen as I'm talking so it doesn't go away again. But um, th that's what the ECP address is for. It, it basically tells the tuxedo, uh, tells the Vista where to find it as a touchscreen controller. So you'll need to have it on one of the appropriate slots. Um, this is uh, concerned with addressing the keypad, um, and that's done using um, programming field star 189. Um, I'm not going to go through that. We have an FAQ that talks about addressing, but just like any keypad, you will need to address it with your Vista system. So make sure you have it. Um, make sure you have the ECP slot uh, the, um, en enabled on the, the Vista system, the AUI slot. Um, so that way, it, it's good to go. Now, um, RIS, uh, that's Remote Interactive Services. So that's basically telling AlarmNet and Total Connect 2.0 where to find the tuxedo as an automation controller. Um, so when, when you, the tuxedo makes an automation command, um, this is assuming the system's monitored and set up for use with Total Connect 2.0, um, it, it's going to relay signals, um, automation signals to AlarmNet, which then passes it on to Total Connect 2.0. So you basically just have it all synced up there. Um, we're keeping ours set at 25 for what we're doing. Um, now you will also notice there is an option, um, primary RIS address. Um, now in most cases, you'll have that not enabled for the tuxedo. Um, I covered it up by pressing the button because I don't want it to kick us out of the menu again, but, and I accidentally changed it there, so we'll set that to 25 there. We want it at 25. Um, but um, usually Total Connect 2.0 is your primary RIS address, um, and, and pretty much every case it is. So um, assuming you're using Total Connect 2.0 with your system, you won't have the tuxedo as the primary RIS address. Um, so just keep that off. Um, but um, this, this is something that you will set up with your monitoring company. Um, but in our case, we have ours at 25. Um, we're, we're fine with that. So the ECP is at 1, RIS is at 25. Uh, we're good with these settings. So to save our changes, we'll press the, the check mark in the bottom right corner there. So um, that, that's how you get to the um, ECP and RIS address menu. Um, I'll, I'll just do a quick recap just to show you it one last time. You click the settings icon, the little gear. You do system setup. Then you do CS setup. And then assuming your, your, your tuxedo is connected with a Vista system, you'll do 4112. If it's not connected, 4140 is usually your, your default. And then um, you do ECP address, and then you have it right there. So that's how you access the menu. So that's how you access the ECP and RIS um, settings for your Tuxedo keypad. If you have any questions about the Tuxedo or Total Connect 2.0 or monitoring services, uh, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.